In this video, I want to solve some impulse and momentum problems in one dimension. The first one has a ball of 2 kilograms going 5 meters per second. A force in the opposite direction at 8 newtons acts for 2 seconds. What is the velocity now? The first thing always is a picture. There's my ball. It's going 5 meters per second. I have a force opposing it. It's for 2 seconds. Next is a coordinate system. Always a coordinate system. You can't do these problems without it because in one dimension it's the sign that tells you which directions the vectors are pointing and those will be critical when they go into the equations in our one dimensional vector notation. So now I'm in the brainstorming, I'm going to start looking at things. I know I have an initial momentum of my object given my coordinate system of a positive 10 newton seconds since it's going to the right in the positive x direction. My final momentum, I don't know what it is. It's the mass times the velocity, and the velocity is what I'm trying to find. I could go ahead and calculate the difference in momentum, which is the final minus the initial, and now I've just replaced my final with p since there's just one momentum left in the problem. Now I'm going to apply the relationships I know between impulse and momentum. I know I only have a constant force, so that relationship is the very simple difference in momentum is equal to that constant force times the time interval. Note my force is pointing in the negative x direction, and so when I put that in, it's a negative 8 newtons, times 2 seconds is negative 16 newton seconds. That's equal to my change in momentum, and the rest is just arithmetic. Momentum is equal to negative 6 newton seconds, that's equal to mass times velocity, and then I can solve for the velocity, negative 6 over m, which is 2, or negative 3 meters per second. That's not too bad. The main problem is making sure you have a clear coordinate system and you keep track of which vectors are positive and negative. In the next one, I have a block of 10 kilograms moving at 5 meters per second. This time my force is varying as a function of time. It's equal to 2t newtons. It also acts on the ball in the opposite direction. How long will it be until the block is moving with the same speed in the other direction? We're told that initially the force does not change, that it's initially opposite the motion, and that the force does not change direction when the block does. So that's just saying the force acts in the same direction during the entire problem. We still want to start with a picture. So here's my block that looks a whole lot like my ball from the previous problem, but it's going to the right at 5 meters per second, being opposed by a force that's time varying. Coordinate system is absolutely crucial. I'm going to have my positive x to the right. I'm going to calculate my momentum first. Here's my initial momentum, and that's equal to 50 newton seconds, since the velocity is in the positive direction. Here I know my final momentum, because I want to know how long it'll take until it's going with the same speed in the other direction. That means it'll have a speed of 5 in the negative x direction. The momentum would be mass 10 times velocity negative 5, or negative 50 newton seconds. I can calculate the momentum difference, which is the final momentum minus the initial momentum, which is negative 100 newton seconds. This change in momentum is going to be equal to the impulse, so I want to be able to calculate that. The impulse for a time varying force is just the time integral of that force. That force is a negative 2t. Note that since the force is pointing in the negative x direction, the minus sign corresponds to the direction of the force. And I'm saying the initial time is 0 and the final time is t. I will point out that I have two different t's here, that t and this t, and they're different t's. This is the final time, in fact, and I just call it t because there won't be any other t's in the problem, these are the independent variable and they will be integrated out. If that's confusing, you can just keep the final time on the limit of integration. This is a simple integral. The indefinite integral would be minus 2t squared over 2 evaluated between t and 0, or t final and 0 if you like, and I get negative t squared is equal to negative 100, the change in momentum from before. If I cancel out the minus signs, I have t squared equals 100, square root of both sides, and the time is equal to 10 seconds. So it takes 10 seconds to turn the block all the way around to go 5 meters per second in the other direction.
Again, note not too bad, though we have to do a simple integration, again making sure that we keep track of our sign. Our final problem has a 4 kilogram mass starts at t equals 0 with a velocity of negative 3 meters per second, a speed of 3 in the negative x direction. It experiences the force shown in the graph. What will be its velocity after 7 seconds? That looks like the entire time shown in the graph. This time, I'm going to go ahead and calculate the impulse first. There's no right or wrong answer here, but I have a graph of force versus time, and so I think I'm going to do that integral. From the graph, I can tell the force is varying as a function of time, so I have to do the integration. However, the integration is just the area under the curve. And since I have a simple triangle, I'm going to calculate that integral by simply calculating the area, one half base times the height. The base is 7 seconds, the height is 5 newtons, and so the one half base times height would be 17.5 newton seconds. I know that that impulse is equal to the change in momentum, the momentum final minus the moment initial. The final momentum is 4 times the final velocity, and that's what we're trying to find, I just represent that with v here, minus the initial momentum, which is 4 times a negative 3. Simplifying, I have 4v plus 12, which is 4v is equal to 5.5, divide out, and I have the velocity is 1.375 meters per second. It's positive, so the velocity is now going in the positive x direction.